What is up, my dudes? Squatting is a major benefit of being in a clan, and I can tell you that squatting with players is sometimes hard to do and hard to be really effective at. So I'm going to tell you guys how to squad more effectively, and this will help you out greatly. Make sure to like and subscribe, and cue the intro. Alright, so first up on our list is squatting with boosters. Many people do not use boosters and they are a huge tool in squatting because when you squad with boosters, you get that 5% or 2% perk for each clanmate, or clanmate that has activated boosters. So, you know, you may have that 10% boost and then the rest of your clan gets 2% each, which adds up to an extra 10%. So, when you're squatting with boosters, there is a huge difference in terms of gameplay. So, make sure, you know, if you're on comms to say... Well, guys, come on, turn on your boosters, and it'll take like 30 seconds, and once they're activated, you're going to be good, and you guys will destroy a lot better. Number two, we have Discord. So Discord is a chat service that is super easy to use. You can get on comms, which is basically where you're talking to the other person, or you can use text channels. So you can say, hey, I want to squat at some time, whatever, whatever, and you can use tags or whatever, and you can tag someone and say, like, okay, everyone, we want to squat, and then they'll get a notification that says, Hey, you want to squad? And then they may say yes, and then you guys get on comms and squad. Also, being on comms is super effective because if, let's say, just as an example, it's hard to explain, but someone's taking your left home beacon, well, and the other five people are not noticing it, if you aren't on comms, you're going to be able to tell them, come on, guys, reinforce that left beacon. But you saw it, and you could get on comms and say, hey, guys, um, someone's getting the left beacon, why don't you go get it? And that's what many people do, and this will help you out insanely. I can tell you that just by just seeing people with and without comms, well, it's a huge difference. Use bots that promote teamwork. That is my number three tip. And it's super easy to do because you can just get a Mender or a Wayland or whatever. And they will help heal your um your friends that are, you know, walking around at 10% health. Heal them up. They're at 40. And then you guys can go out and get that kill. You know, Mender can be hard to utilize in randoms because everyone's just running all over the place. But if you have your comms on and you, you're like, hey... I can heal you, and some shouts out, heal me. <laughs> well, you can walk over there and heal them up, and then you're good. And that's super effective to use, so I recommend getting a Mender or something like that. Also using your shields, whether that's Ares, an Aegis shield, or an Energy shield. These are super awesome to use because you can just get inside that shield, and then, bam, you're going to take less damage, or none, if you're in like an Ares, Hades, or Nemesis shield, and they are epic to use. And if you use this effectively, I've seen full squads just come out there with a couple of Aries and a couple of Menders. And, you know, those Aries, they're overpowered, of course, but they get out there, they get their kills, they come back, and they're healed up, and then they go back out. And that's how many squads operate, and they destroy everything in their path. My fourth tip to you guys is don't be selfish. And I know that this can be hard for some of you guys, and I do it all the time, and it's hard. It's hard for me to kind of get out of that mindset. Um, so, like, let's say, you know, if you're in a random match, are you going to go for your home beacon or go for center? We all know that center is probably going to be the best way to go for your team. But, you know, you want that beacon so that you can get those honor points. And that that can be very destructive in your clan. If you have six people going for one beacon just to get that um, extra honor points, you shouldn't be competing with your team. That's just what I think. Never compete with your team. You guys are here to win and help each other out. I know it may be tempting to get that top one damage, but sometimes you may have to take one for the team and suppress enemies and maybe even die trying to suppress them or lock them down or whatever or capture that beacon because at the end, it's going to reap the most rewards. And so some people have a hard time grasping that. Even I do at times because I'm so used to that mindset of getting those beacons. Sometimes, you know, <laughs> I'm not even thinking and I capture one. It's not me being selfish or anything, but you just constantly have to have that mindset. Do it for the team. We have players that will say, okay, I'm going to go for the center beacon with the intent of dying because they want that center beacon so that people can spawn there and eventually they can move up and destroy. And that you probably wouldn't do that in a random match, but that's the that's how effective comms and all of squatting can be because you guys have to use teamwork effectively. Number five, do not squat in groups of three. There is some weird things in the matchmaking that makes duos really easy to do because then, you know, you're actually being matched with randoms players almost all the time. But there's that matchmaking that three's a party, guys. And when three's a party, Pixonic says, Nope, you guys are getting matched against full squads, <laughs> and that's never good for a three-person squad. 
because, you know, even if you're in randoms, sometimes three-person squads, if you have three players that are dead weight, you're still going to lose, which is trash. And then there's that half the, the other half the time that, you know, you're going up against a full squad, and they're going to destroy you in a couple of minutes. So either way, you kind of lose. It's not that great. Um, I've been in three-person squads before, and at this point, when I'm in three-person squad, I either leave and let them do duos, or I duo with someone else, or we try and get a fourth and fifth person. So never squad in threes. Always squad in twos, fours, fives, and six. At number six, squad with players that are actually your league. Now at Champion League, it's really easy because you can squad with players that may have lower level stuff and players that have MK2 because no matter what, you're still going to be matched against the same players you normally go against, except for, of course, the full squads. But if you're being put in, if you're playing against people in Gold League, well, if you're being squatted, you're a Champion League player and you're squatting with Gold League players. I see this all the time for some reason. That Gold League player is going to be going up against Champion League players. The person with the highest amount of trophies will always, you will, they will always be matched against those players. So if you have a Champion League player in your squad, guess who you're going up against? Champion League players. So never do that. Even Expert and Master League squads can get a little bit dicey at times because... The difference between expert and master is actually pretty huge when you think about it. That's like three leagues. So, you know, just don't do that. And I know that can be hard at times because getting six players that are at the same league as you is extremely hard. I know that when I was in um, Jaeger Tech 1, it was always hard because as I was moving up to Master 1, um, you know, the players that were in Expert 3 would be going up against um, Master 1 players. And that's not... That's not good for them because they were getting wrecked. And I remember being down in Expert 3 and having Master 1 players, and I would be getting wrecked also. And it's not good for you, the Champion League player, or the Gold League player. Because then you, as a Champion League player, you have a dead weight that's just a random Gold player that's probably going to get 200,000 damage. And as a Gold player, you, you're going up against some of the hardest and toughest to beat players there are in the game. And at number 7, we have get into a good clan, but at the same time, players that have the same ranking as you. So, as I talked about in number six, you want to squad with players that are, um, that, you know, have the same league as you. And you don't want to be, you know, some expert league player getting into a squad with a bunch of champion league players, of course. So why would you get into a clan with a bunch of champion league players when you're an expert league player? It does make sense, and you will not be able to utilize clan, um, squatting at all. And if you will, you're probably going to get wrecked, and it's not going to help your teammates, your clan, or yourself. So, you know, it may be tempting to apply for some of those higher level squads, and they're probably not even going to accept you if you're a lower league player. And it may be tempting to, you know, be a higher league player and go into lower league clans and just say, uh, what's up guys, I'm better than you, and then, you know, just kind of brag about your bots. But, like, that's, that's not going to help you at all, and it's not going to help your teammates, and eventually they may kick you, and set limits, if you're a clan leader, set limits for your clan, you know? Say, okay, we have a bunch of Champion Leagues, maybe we should set the requirement at Champion League. Or maybe you guys are a bunch of Gold League players, set it at Gold League. Um, because it's not going to help you guys. And I recommend getting into any clan that's um, D, like DD ranked or higher. Um, when you kind of get into some of those higher level squads, it's going to help you guys out. Um, and don't get into a clan where you're going to be overwhelmed, you know? Some some clans have requirements of 10,000 cups and more. <laughs> Those squads are really good. And being once you get all the way up to S League, well, you're going up against harder players, and you're probably going to beat them. But at the same time, your clan's requirements are like six hours of playing every day, and most people cannot keep up with that. This is a game, not your job. Remember that, guys. Get Facebook. Um, I do not have Facebook. Um, I might get it later. I don't know. But I know that people who do actually squad with very high league clans. So you don't even have, I was talking about, you know, get into a clan that's like the same level as you and that makes you play the amount that you can handle. But sometimes if you friend some of these people on Facebook, they'll be like, oh yeah, we have a five person squad. We need one person extra. And they may invite you. Um, you know, I, I've seen people um, in B rank like clans that have really good stuff that are um, squatting with S level players. I've seen that a couple times. Like, S League, that's Gods, that's Core, that's uh, HC, I don't know about you iOS players, but um, those are the Android kind of top clans, and they squad with them, and you can learn a lot of valuable things from them, and also watch the Warbots videos of like squads going up against each other, because they will teach you a lot, I've learned 
a heck of a ton. When I first started squatting, you know, with comms, I was like, okay, how should I do this? So I watched a couple of videos and I was like, okay, I kind of get a little bit of an idea of how to squat. And my tip number nine to you is don't make this your job. Oh my God. These S level clans will actually make you play for five, six hours a day just for you to be maintained in your clan and not be kicked or dismissed. And uh, that's a long time. Don't push yourself to some extreme amount just because your clan is trying to make you to. I will never do that. You know, if I want to play more, I will. Um, and maybe one day you may go to Metal Maniacs. It's an AA ranked clan, but I don't know if I will. You know, it requires 10k um, like tr cups or clan points per month. And I don't know if I can pull that out. I may be able to, but I'm going to try, of course. But, uh, you know, I'm not, I'm not going to force myself to doing that. Um, but <laughs> don't... Guys, don't get into these S-League clans when you know you can't handle it. When you know you can't go for six hours every day, you know, seven days a week, just squatting. That can be fun when you're on comms and stuff, and you can pass a couple hours, but, like, six hours is a long time. Unless you really, really want to do this, don't make your clan force you to do this, all right? That's the video, guys. Make sure to like and subscribe, and I'm going to see you next time.